Thank you very much, Joyce. Um, and thank you, everybody, uh, for having me here tonight. I'm really excited to be joining you. That dinner was delicious. It's definitely the uh, best meal I've had in a while. Um, but uh, first of all, thank you so much. I'm here in Manny Custer's campaign. Um, and thank you so much for supporting Annie in 2012. With your support, we were able to get her elected to Congress. And since going down to Washington, Annie's really been working hard for uh, the people of New Hampshire. In one of the most unproductive Congresses on record, um, and one of the most polarized House, um, Annie was able to reach across the aisle and work with Republicans and pass uh, whistleblower protections for men in the military who report sexual assault. Um, and that's the kind of common sense lawmaking that we need out of our elected representatives. Um, and unfortunately, on the Republican side of the ticket, we have someone who is just too extreme for New Hampshire. I'm sure the state reps here know her, Marlene Garcia. She is about as Tea Party as Tea Party can get. She opposes a Violence Against Women's Act. Women Act. Um, she doesn't believe in a woman's right to choose. She voted for the O'Brien budget, which increased, amongst many things, you all know how terrible that was, it increased the cost of education at the University of New Hampshire. She wants to abolish the Department of Education, which to me seems like a pretty crazy idea. Um, and she believes in privatizing Social Security. So these are just all positions that are just too extreme for New Hampshire. They're not what we believe in. Um, but sadly, uh, the Koch brothers, that is what they believe in. And that's why they spent $3.5 million um, this year already against standing. And that's made this a close race. Uh, but the Koch brothers have the money. But the one thing that we have, besides right on our side, is we have people. Um, all of you here, you, you care about politics. That's why you came out tonight. And we're really fortunate this year in New Hampshire to have a coordinated campaign. Uh, the governor's race, the senator's race, our race, and candidates up and down the ticket. Um, are all working together um, to knock on doors uh, and really get out the vote in November. And we're really lucky to have Brendan, um, who is a really talented field organizer here. Um, and if we all pull together and get out there and knock on doors and make those phone calls, we're going to have a blue November. Uh, so 